In every election campaign, we Democrats talk about jobs. Now forget for a moment Donald Trump's wild claims. He lost millions of jobs in America. He promised to bring back manufacturing jobs, but he failed. He promised to deliver infrastructure, but he failed. His record was defined by failure. To put it another way, Donald Trump is like a bad boss. You want time off to take care of your sick parents? Ask Donald Trump. Denied. In Donald Trump's America, there is no paid family leave. Want to have a child but need IVF? Too bad. That's shut down, too. Want a pay raise? Too bad. The boss just gave himself one, so there's nothing left for you. Donald Trump reminds us of a boss we all had, the guy who thinks he's a very stable genius but is driving the company into the ground. Now get this. Donald Trump did make history. Let's give him credit. He is one of only two presidents in the history of the United States to leave office with fewer Americans working than when he started. Now he wants a chance to make America unemployed again. On the other hand, let's take a record, look at the record of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They recovered all those millions of jobs that Trump watched slip away. They added over 6 million jobs on top of that. 16 million jobs in total. 16 million. Today, more roads are getting fixed, more factories are being built, more Americans are working construction, and more auto workers are making cars than on any month when Trump was president. And we know behind every job is a place our community forever changed. Data centers in Wisconsin, semiconductors in Pennsylvania, electric vehicles in Michigan. Yes. Hello, Michigan. These investments mean strong economy, growing public schools, and well-funded, well-staffed first responders. These investments mean hope. That's what Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are fighting for. They'll fight for the places that are too often left behind, fight to change lives and uplift communities, fight to bring back American manufacturing. My friend, Ed Smith, a giant of the Illinois laborers, was, was a great fellow. We lost him this year. But Ed Smith told us there's joy in this battle. When we win, we help people buy their first homes, send their kids to college, and retire with dignity. Incidentally, that happens to be my family story, too. My mom and dad worked for the railroad, and because we were a strong union family, we were able not just to get by, but to get ahead. That's the American economy Kamala Harris and Tim Walz are fighting for. Let's join that fight and build it together. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.